Good afternoon. Hopefully we are here in Madison, Wisconsin. You're getting this. Maybe not. The little picture is here, but I see I'm not here. And uh, we will get a um, person uh, here to get the nice camera in just a second. But uh, this is not Michelle. It's uh, Frank Emsbach from Madison, Wisconsin. And we are plugged into the global teach-in. And it says on air, but uh, no camera yet. In any event, if we are on the air, and there's no camera, since I'm used to doing radio, not audio, we make a report from Madison. And uh, what's going on in Madison, Wisconsin, as many of you may know, is that uh, we are in the midst of a major political upheaval. The problem, and I think the model and the information that may be most useful for the rest of the world, is that we're trying to find a way to break out of the usual two-party cycle and the usual arrangements with simply um, an election once every three or four years. So there's been this massive movement to recall. And uh, that means to have an election outside of the cycle, to have a candidate run against the governor, and preferably to overturn the previous election. What's at stake here is the um, uh, formation of a new state government, and hence the reversal of various um, efforts to uh, uh, change the laws that have just been passed. We're just getting some technical assistance here. Let's come on over. Are you okay? I don't know. It says on air and uh, I get camera and voice, but there's no picture of me, so maybe the camera isn't working. Uh, but in any event, we are busily, busily working away. So the point about what's happening here and what I think is important for everybody to understand is that there is a possibility under Wisconsin law, if people vote again in June, in the recall to change the governor, change the assembly, and hence to change the composition of the government and restore, if people wish, the various collective bargaining rights that were lost. I think what is happening here, which is different than elsewhere, and which is a real test and is a model for elsewhere, is the very clear notion that we should change the um, parameters of the electoral system and move it outside the usual once every three or four years and no political involvement. I think the second thing that's happening here is a sense that if that doesn't work, the political uh, sort of landscape is diminished. There's very little discussion going on in the politics about various policies. Many of them are are uh, sort of shadows of a neoliberal policy. Even some of the progressive Democrats are unwilling to raise fundamental issues about how our taxes are structured. That being the case, um, I think what we're going to see, even with a new administration, is an increasing move towards uh, activity in the street in a sense that the political process is breaking down. The recalls are an example of that. We've heard this from other speakers that there is, on the one hand, the need to have other structures, economic structures, worker owned co ops, and so forth. And Gar spoke about that quite well. And here in Madison, in fact, you could do a tremendous amount if people were willing to do it. But also a sense of the diminishing capacity of the political structures as they are exist in the United States to really do anything more than become advertising agencies at the behest of three or 400 people. Maybe in the Democrats, it's 800 people but we're still talking about the purchasing of the whole country. And that is really what's at stake here in Madison and I think in Wisconsin. It's a push back against that. And without that, it means the political process is essentially closed to progressive ideas here. And if we don't win the recall elections, they will be perceived throughout the United States as a vindication of this right-wing, anti-working class, anti-people, anti democratic rights agenda. So that is uh, sort of our report from Madison. And I think that really, in a way, we are the ground zero for what's happening in this country. And in a certain sense, we need to find a way to make sure we win. So that's what's happening in Madison. Thank you. I mean, it just went black here. So I hope, I don't know what that means, we're off the air or not, because I have no way of responding to people because uh, we had to move our broadcast booth, and so I can't hear unless somebody else speaks uh, from the conference. And I know that my time is just about up, 
And um, you can answer questions offline. If you wish to contact us, uh, you can reach me at frankmspac at gmail.com. I'd like to talk to you about what's happening here. From our perspective in Madison, we found the discussion today very, very interesting. And I think we learned a lot and saw a way to use this technology to bring more people together. So thank you uh, very much, and I hope 